Forced to choose between paying her rent and feeding herself, Bonnie Thibodeau comes here to fill her basket at the food bank with whatever she can. It's a pain that you can't fill. There's the hunger in your belly, the hunger in your heart. For Thibodeau, rising food prices leave her in a dire situation. Why does it have to go up? Checks aren't going up. Minimum wage isn't going up. The latest Canadian food price report suggests grains, fruit and vegetables will see the biggest price jump, a rise of up to 6%. One in eight Canadians are food insecure. Uh, we need to be putting nutritious, uh, healthy, uh, affordable food on people's uh, plates. Um, that's a problem. Part of the issue stems from Canada's reliance on the US, Mexico and Central America to farm and ship produce. An El Nino weather event is in the forecast, meaning drier growing conditions and higher prices at checkout. Another reason, more Canadian producers are switching crops, choosing to grow pot instead of food for 30 to 40 percent the price. This could be a major food security issue for Canada. Back at the food bank, uh, I mean, you have grape tomatoes, you have, there is concern uh, higher prices will mean some families will struggle to get fresh fruits and vegetables. We want to make sure that every Canadian has the opportunity to get access to great quality food. And, uh, and so when you see the fresh fruits and vegetables increasing at a dramatic rate, way beyond inflation, then you say, um, what, what's going to happen to the individuals most vulnerable? Children are going in without food and we can't help them. As much as we try, we can't give them what they need. Meaning those struggling to get by with very little may have to make do with even less. Olivia Stevanovich, CBC News, Toronto.